G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome to the T-Land mission. And there is our target. We're after the docks on the edge of that city. Ah, <sighs> T-Land missions. Um, for those of you who have never watched a T-Land mission in Cold Waters before and have never played one, T-Lands are Tomahawk land attack missiles. Essentially, you know, cruise missiles fired to destroy targets on land from a submarine. The problem with this is you're firing a whole bunch of missiles that are going to give away your exact location the second you fire them. Now, there are a few ways to deal with this, but uh, a lot of them are boring. Just two away. Three away. Four away. Seven and eight. You can see why. It's uh, gonna moss loaded. I'm gonna need that. Um, you can see why these tend to give away your location as soon as you let them off. Now you can sail miles and miles and miles away from the port before firing because the game essentially spawns you too close. You're supposed to fire tea lands from extreme ranges. But um, the game spawns you damn near on top of the target, in amongst the enemy fleet. You can sail miles away to fire them off, but it takes about 40 minutes. And there's hit one, two. Um, it takes about 40 minutes to do and essentially becomes boring, so it's more fun to release them closer to the target, but it means you're going to be evading enemy fire almost right away. This becomes more interesting in the South China Sea campaign because, well, you're only in about 200 feet of water. Alright, that is our moss away. Now this is for evasion purposes. We've just fired off all the missiles. Every ship in the enemy fleet is now going to be looking for our location. I'm firing one moss off and I am going to head in a completely different direction to the moss. Now the moss, for those who are unaware of exactly what it is, is a mobile submarine simulator. Moss. Essentially it's just another countermeasure, another decoy. Oops, 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 oops. There we go, okay. We're still close enough for the moss, so that cavitation should have been fine. I think, maybe. We'll see. Um, essentially, it moves along like a torpedo, but it doesn't look or engage for any targets. It just makes the sound of a cavitating submarine. So, in theory, providing we don't make too much noise or let anybody get too close to our location, they should hear that in the water, and they should track it. Okay, so we've got one torpedo in the water there. There's two. Those are missile deployed or rocket deployed torpedoes. They've been deployed from a ship. They're on the right bearing to us, but they don't have a range. And both of them are in a, yeah, they're in a tracking profile. So neither one of them has acquired us and they're both too far away to actually detect us. So we don't need to worry about those, providing we don't go near them. They would have been aimed roughly at the initial launch from the T-Lamps, I would guess. Yeah, if you look at a line between where I made the turn, where I fired the T-Lamps, and where those two torpedoes have hit, they were aimed at the launch site. That was a Sona Boy. That's not what I wanted to see. Now we're as deep as I can possibly go at this point. There's there's nothing between us and the floor. Why well, lie? There's about 37 feet between us and the bottom, but uh, I'm not going any deeper than this. Still got pings, but 
but they're far away. If they were getting a good return on our location, we would already have torpedoes coming in at us. Come left two, two, zero, one, L, and I can't see exactly where that sonar boy lit either. If that sonar boy landed close, I should have it on the map. And as much as I probably shouldn't have that external camera, there is a torpedo. require us. I know, and I can hear a helicopter. And torpedo has acquired us, alright. Yeah, there's no point in avoiding cavitation at this point, I need speed. Faster, must go faster, must go faster, 24 knots, come on. Right, the knuckles distracted it. It's going to go wide, so we're going to try and set ourselves up for another knuckle. There we go. And hopefully... There we go, that knuckle got it. It's turned away again. Yeah. There's no point in slowing down here. I've got a... actually... The torpedo has... The torpedo detected the countermeasure, and it looks like it's circled, so hopefully... Hopefully... I've lost it in the baffles at the moment. We're so close to the bottom at this point that we cannot deploy our towed sonar array, so we are suffering the problems of a very old submarine or a um, non-towed equipped submarine in regards to the baffles. We can't see anything in any form directly behind us, just due to depth at this point. I'd need to go... You need 200 feet clearance off the bottom to deploy the towed sonar array, and we're only in 267 feet of water, so I'd be nearly at periscope depth, very close to it, in order to get shallow enough in order to get the towed sonar array out. And this is one of the problems with doing TLAM missions, or really any type of mission where you've got to reveal your location in the South China Sea campaign, this is where part of the difficulty level comes from. And that is the torpedo destroyed. Out of fuel, so it's self-destructed. Now I could probably slow down at this point, but those sonar pings, that was an airdrop torpedo. And I can't see where that sonar boy went, but I think the sonar boy actually landed on our moss and not on our location. And we're not outside of the initial torpedo launch, which came from the boat to our southeast. Nobody else has fired on us. So I don't think they can see us, even cavitating. If they can't see us on active sonar, they're not going to be close enough with Chinese uh, passive sonar to be able to they might be able to hear us, but they won't be able to accurately locate us. So I'm going to run for as possibly for as long as I possibly can here, and open up a little bit of a gap. Try and get ourselves as close to that shelf as we possibly can. Although I would like to deploy Toad Sonar. Yeah. All right, let's take ourselves to 50 feet and see if we can see anything. Make five, zero, eight, nine, nine.
we still have a torpedo. That's right where we made the initial turn. So they're still dropping on the initial uh, TLAM launch site. Alright, there is Sierra 1. What are you? Now the interesting thing about these missions is it's not just combat ships, you will get civilian transports as well. Um, no, I don't think it's a looter. That looks right. You have 44% solution on Sierra 1, and yep, I was right. Those Sonar Boys did land around the Moss, and it looks like they're continuing to drop more, which means... Well, technically, they should be close enough to still potentially hear me. But the noise of the Moss is probably got all of their attention at this point. Or seems to have, anyway. Alright, providing we stay quiet at this point, I think we actually may be safe out of here. I think, maybe. I'd like to hear what we've got to our southeast, and to our east, immediate east would be nice as well. But particularly southeast, because that's the direction I've got to run, because that's the direction of the shelf. Uh, where the, the, the bottom end starts dropping off from 200 feet down to, I think it's something like 1,500 feet in about this. It's a helicopter. That's a torpedo. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Right, countermeasures away, come on. Come on, come on, come on, dive, 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 dive. No, that's gonna hit. Friggin' helicopters. Alright, what do we got? Hull is at 87%, nothing appears to be leaking. Nothing appears to be disabled at this point. Helicopter airdrop torpedo, and there's the dipping sonar for the prick. There's no sonar boys over here. How the frig did you... God, helicopters in this game. That was a pinpoint drop. The only way that helicopter should have been capable of that is if it had my exact location. Oh, fine. If you're going to do sneaky drops like... Now there's a sonar boy behind me, or sonar boy behind me. That wasn't there a second ago. Or is that... Oh, actually, no, that might be just the, uh, the dipping sonar from the helicopter. Alright, fine. You've got my location now. I can expect more to be incoming. I am just going to run at flank speed. Run at flank speed for as long as I possibly can and try and get to some deeper water because 200 feet, I just do not have enough room to maneuver here. Still tracking me. Aircraft overhead. That's a torpedo. Where? Where, 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 where? Whoa, shit, there. Alright, there's a countermeasure for you. And I am down on the deck. Two hundred and seventy-two feet to three thirty-four. That doesn't look like a hundred feet between me and the bottom. And torpedo is making its turn back. All right, 
torpedo is not acquiring. Okay, looks like the countermeasures got it again. Yep, looks like we've avoided this one as well. Torpedoes again, where there's one. I, thought, I suppose I should have been expecting another one. Two, two torpedoes in the water. We should be fine here. I'm running at 35 knots. So as much as they should have no problem hearing me. Well, I've got to let them get a little bit closer. They didn't take that knuckle. Oh no, maybe that one did. And there goes the other one. And the first one is turning back. Right, now I'm just going to juggle these two for as long as is necessary. And, and that'll be another Sono boy from that plane. Second torpedo still tracking. There we go. Still quite a ways from the shelf. Torpedo three, torpedo three. Right, one and two have both broken off. Three has not acquired. There is no three is now acquired. Two is off track. breaking off come on come on come on take it there we go there we go god that took a while all right torpedo one has detonated torpedo two has detonated Just got to keep juggling torpedo three until it does the same. Uh, if you're wondering why they're detonating, basically these are airdrop torpedoes. They only have a very limited amount of fuel. They're designed to be deployed directly onto the target, which they have been, but they will only keep running for a small amount of time. And in this game, when your torpedoes run out of fuel, they self-destruct. That's what's happening. If you can dodge them for long enough, they will just blow themselves up. Go, yep, he's taken it. And I think that was another splash. So, likely another Sonar Boy in our location. Okay, it's turning away again, and we've got another torpedo in the water. That one's pretty far out though, that might actually be too far out to acquire us. And there we go. Let's head straight for the shelf. And yeah, that's way too far out, that's so far out we don't need to worry about it. 
All right. Just continue our run for the shelf. That's all we can do at this point. All right, so at this point in time, I'm pretty sure we've managed to evade everyone. We're at over a thousand feet. We are very much clear of the combat zone. So let's bring this mission to an end. And no vessels nearby, no weapons, no aircraft, no flooding, and our land strike is complete, so we can leave combat. Uh, there's only four ships on the surface. Well done, successful land strike. Intel reports indicate extensive damage was sustained by the target. Stand by for new orders. And bullseye, military installations around Yulin, China have suffered extensive damage in what witnesses have called a massive cruise missile strike. Alright, so, mission completed. Now, we could have done this a hell of a lot cleaner, of course. I could have done the old thing of uh, once spawning in, as the game always spawns you too close to the shore, driving almost all the way out to the shelf and then performing the missile strike, but that's rather boring. At the very least, this is entertaining. So, yeah, we did take a hit on the chin, unfortunately. Continue through and see what our next mission is. Um, I am probably going to have to return to Guam regardless, because while it doesn't seem to have affected the submarine's capabilities any, it will make us noisier. And our next mission, we are being asked to hunt China's ballistic missile submarine. Now, this is going to be a fun mission, but we'll save that one for the next video. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. As always, check the video description down below for links to my Twitch, to my Twitter, to my Discord, to my Facebook, and to my Patreon if you'd like to help support the channel. And as always, remember to click that like button, share, and subscribe if you would like to see more. And until next time, take care.